Bonjour, my friend. I wasn't expecting it to be this harsh. Leaving Sweden left a painful imprint over my heart. I thought I made peace with this life movement, but I feel heavy since then. I'm sure you can recall a time where you did not want things to change, but for some reason they had to, so they did. And it causes great pain. It really is heartbreaking to leave your life behind when you actually felt at peace with it. Letting go of a place I could call home. Losing this secluded shelter. Saying goodbye to a myriad of moments spent between the wooden walls. Moments of concoction. Of simplicity. Moments that matter. Is it a matter of obligation? Or might it be an unsought compromise among others? I don't know, and I don't know where to go. A blurry future is all I can guess from the horizon. But I can also put a name to this lucky break. I am filled with gratitude to be standing here today. Scandinavia is magical. My coup de cœur is Norway. Cold and beautiful. Quiet and untouched. Ever devouring sceneries of giant fjords where once sailed Viking hordes. Through the gleaming sea, I could see the golden swords raised by phantom men, as if to show me they once were the mighty lords of these ancient lands. Wild hues and desaturated fields. Layers of snow contrasting the bare trees and the bright sun rays gleaming on the water. As I listen to the loud silence, the wind surprises me at times. The rising sound of rustling leaves drawing my fuzzy mind back into the vivid present moment. Amongst haziness and ambivalence, it feels good to be just alive. Wandering through the northern hemisphere forced me to let go, breathing fresh air and letting my eyes wander to all the beauty to be seen. Letting go of this toxic and constant pondering, as I open my eyes to a new dawn, I can notice the darkness fade away. I learned to stop comparing myself. In real life, My behind-the-scenes is irrelevant to everyone else's highlight reel. So I've just been going round in circles for weeks now. I don't recall feeling this indices ever before. 
I had to return to my motherland, France, for reasons of insufficient finances. So currently I have a pied à terre at my parents' place in the French countryside. To tell you the truth, my biggest issue today is that my professional status still isn't enough for me to be able to sign a lease. So I have no other option than going from one Airbnb to another. One month here, two months there. It's, it's not fun anymore. I mean, all my personal items fit in my car, so that is okay. Organization-wise, it's okay. I just cannot wait for that day. That day where I'll be able to belong somewhere and not just be a wanderer, always on the go. As much as I treasure discovering and exploring this beautiful world, I need a home. Fallen between cracks is what defines me best nowadays. I always talk about cycles. La vérité, c'est que life, whether in humans or in nature, is all about cycles. Without exception, you have to know the darkness before you can appreciate the light. And this also applies to emotions, success, money, relationships, creativity, everything. As much as I'm aware of this, it doesn't stop me from disliking the process some days. Today. I cannot thank you enough for following me on this journey and to support my work through these weird global times. Please look after yourself and take great care of your heart. And regardless of what I will choose for my destiny, I will see you in the next chapter. A bientôt.